Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome, I'm Brooke and I make lifestyle videos. So for today's video, I'm really excited for this. This is a DIY video. I have not done one of these in quite a while, but if you guys haven't seen my DIY wedding craft video, I will put a card up here. It has quickly become my most viewed video. It has over 7,000 views, which is huge for my channel. So I have heard you and here I am to give you that content. So I have settled on wine bottle candles. So I'm gonna be starting with full on like wine bottles. We're gonna be cutting it. We're going to be making the wax mixture, the whole deal from this had liquid in it to now we're burning it for a candle. So today I'm just gonna be kicking off the video. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm ordering, what I have so far, and then we will be picking up this video once everything comes in. If you haven't already, don't forget, subscribe below, give this video a big thumbs up, and let's get making candles. So here is what I'm working with for my wine candles. Here is my inspiration here. This is my favorite candle in the world. It is mahogany teakwood from Bath and Body Works. I love that kind of like sexy, manly, Abercrombie fierce type smell. But here is what I just ordered. So up at the top, that is sandalwood um, scent. It's like an, a fragrance oil for like candles and soaps. And then here is the glass cutting kit. And then here is two pounds of wax. And then it comes with 10 wicks. And then these are the little things that hold the wicks up um, while the candle dries. So the packages just came in and I'm gonna show you guys what we are working with. And then we are going to get started on our DIY bottle candles. So um, first came in the glass bottle cutter. So in here, we have two very cheap little gloves, and then we have the actual cutter itself. And then here are a few other things. I believe that this is a handheld um, little blade, but we're not gonna be using that today. And then there should be, yep. And then there is sandpaper so that we can soften the edges of the glass bottle once we've cut it. And then here is the fragrance. So I got sandalwood. I can get this out. So here is the sandalwood. It feels like a good amount. Yep, and then we have two pounds of wax, I guess. Each one of these is a pound. And in here are the wicks. And then these little metal things are what hold the wick up um, to prevent the wick from kind of falling over as the wax is drying. So we have all of our supplies now. And I've decided that I'm just gonna do four bottles. I swapped out some of the bottles because I like the straight ones. Um, and then I Googled how to get um, these labels off. So it said soak for five to 10 minutes in warm water with some baking soda. So over here, um, I've started to um, fill the sink with warm water and then add a bit of baking soda. That should probably be good. I think it's like two tablespoons. And then we just need to soak it. I think I'm gonna need a bit more water in here. I'm gonna add a little more hot water, let them stay in here for five to 10 minutes, and then we will take the labels off. I have this lovely Pamper Chef um, kitchen scraper, and it's been just about 10 minutes. It's been eight and a half. So, oh, what? Look at this. I just picked the corner. What? No residue. Okay, so warm water with some baking soda, not baking powder, baking soda. And then you just need to pick a bit of the corner and it comes right off. Wow. type of label. This label does not come off as easily. This one is more like plasticky. Okay, so 
I think I'm gonna go get another bottle. I had a few more bottles um, from the same winery that have more of like the papery um, label. So I'm gonna go grab one of those and soak it. But in the meantime, we will get ready with the other ones. Okay, so I added two more bottles to the water so we have a backup in case the one of them doesn't work out. Here are the three that did work. And then here is the contraption that is going to be cutting our bottles. I haven't tightened this just yet because I'm not sure it slides. So I'm not sure what size because I wanted to measure. Okay, so we determined that this is going to make way too big of a candle. Even at its smallest, it's gonna be this, it's going to be this big, which is way too big. So I think that'll be good. So now I'm just gonna tighten this little screw here. Okay. It has now etched a line. I'm gonna do it with the other ones and I'm gonna bring you guys in closer so you can see what's going on a little more. Okay, so I brought you guys in nice and close so you can see what's going on. So we've just laid the bottle down and we've put it against this little backboard thing. I'm just rotating it. Okay, so I went around a few times just to make sure it's cut. So here's where it's scored. And that's how tall our candle is going to be. Now we are ready to go between this big old bowl of ice water and this large pot of hot water almost boiling. So we have our scored bottle and we're gonna go between um, 10 and 20 seconds in one of them and then transfer 10 to 20 seconds into the other and we're gonna go back and forth until the bottle um, cracks at the score line and we'll have two pieces. I think it's been probably about 10 seconds. This like stresses me out. And then we're gonna go back to the ice. Can you see the fear in my face? I just heard it crack. Oh, oh it broke. Oh, that was not as eventful as I thought it was going to be. Okay, we have broken bottle number one. Oh my gosh, it was a smooth break. So here is our smooth break bottle number one. Actually, that wasn't bad at all. I was thinking that this was gonna be some like ordeal and it's just really not. Oh my gosh, okay, this one like, Okay, so it appeared that I got a little too cocky. Um, this one also broke, however, it was not an even break. And then this other one that broke, it broke, but it was also like, it cracked also. You see that? So I can't use this one. And then the other one full on like broke, broke. So we just have one so far. Um, I did have that one other bottle that I haven't taken off the label from yet. So I think that maybe I'm gonna try one more time. Um, I need like two or three bottles at least. So I'm gonna give it another go. Okay, so I worked on the other bottles and total I have the very first one that I did that came out perfectly. And then I have two more that are um, close enough. So there's this one. So there's a little bit missing right there and a little bit extra right there. So I'm gonna try to sand that down to be smooth because the rest of it is perfect. And then I have this one. This side is perfect and then it broke a little, a little more than it should have and then there's a bit extra right there. So I'm gonna see if I can um, sandpaper that down. Overall, I think I tried six or seven bottles and this was the best that I was able to make. So now I just took out the sandpaper and I'm going to sand them down. So 
So it took a lot more effort than I had originally anticipated, but this was the one that had the big old bump right here and I was able to mostly file it down. And then here's the one that was perfect to begin with. And then this one also went a little lower, but all filed down, it actually looks pretty good. Okay, these are all rinsed out. And then I just got this glass measuring thing. And this is one pound of wax. And then I have this small pot and I'm going to leave this in here and I will mix occasionally so that the wax can melt. Wax is starting to melt. We'll add a little more. So I'm just gonna prep the wick. So I'm gonna dip it in the wax and stick it where I want just to help it keep its form once I start pouring in the wax. So fragrance, one ounce shot glass. And we're doing 10% of what's in here. So there's 16 ounces of wax. So I'm gonna do one and a half shots. Uh, maybe a little more. Mix this all up. I'm just gonna pour it in. Pour it in. I'm trying to figure out how full I want these. Okay, maybe I'm just gonna have to fill these up to the top because there's not quite enough to start on another candle. All right, candles are drying. The wicks keep wanting to come undone from the bottom there. I would recommend like super gluing them to the bottom because using hot wax helps initially. Um, as we can see with this one, we didn't pour wax into. It definitely helps stabilize it until you pour in more hot wax and it melts the bond. So that's why I have this failed wine bottle behind me uh, or behind the candles. You can see the cracks that were here, which is why I couldn't use that bottle. But now it is really helping to hold up the wicks. It's been about an hour and a half. The wax is starting to turn white, so it's starting to look like a candle but apparently it's going to take another three to four hours for these to dry. So I'm going to just leave them here and we will check on them in the morning. So the candles are all dry and ready to go. So I'm just going to remove these little wick holders, cut the wicks. Voila, here are my wine bottle candles. Okay, so I just wanted to pop in here and do a bit of a cost analysis to determine if cost-wise it was worth it to make our own candles. So I broke down the price and for the bottle, I'm counting it as nothing because when I finished the wine, I was going to recycle the bottles and instead I just kept them and recycled them this way. So then we have the wax and wicks came together for two pounds of wax and 10 wicks. It was about $16, so we used one pound, so we used $8 worth of wax and wicks, and we used that between two candles, so it was $4 worth of wax. And then the other cost was the fragrance. So for the fragrance, it was about $18, and we used half of it. So we used $9 of fragrance, again between two candles, so $4.50 worth of fragrance per candle. So grand total, it was $8.50 worth of supplies in each candle. Now again, this is assuming that you have the glass cutter per candle you make after that, it is $8.50 per candle. So I have two other candles to compare. So these are both from either Home Goods or TJ Maxx. This one is nine ounces of wax and this one was $6.99. This candle is 11 ounces of wax and also $6.99. The ones that we made are only eight ounces of wax. So if you are comparing two candles at Home Goods, although these are not wine bottle candles, these are a better bang for your buck for the amount of wax. But if you're comparing to like Target, Anthropology, Bath and Body Works, wherever else you get candles, making your own is definitely a better bang for your buck but it is really fun to have said that you did make your own. So I will let you guys choose if it is worth it cost-wise to make your own, and I will be linking everything I use below. So if you guys wanna use the same supplies that I did, you absolutely can. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, don't forget, subscribe below, give this video a big thumbs up, 
And if you haven't already, don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you never miss a video. If you have any other DIY ideas that you want me to try out, let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys again so, so much, and I will see you in my next video. Talk to me, baby.